Hey everyone, and welcome to another exciting announcement. Today, we're unveiling GPT-40, the newest member of the GPT family. Think of it as GPT-4 on steroids, it's faster, smarter, and can handle even more types of information than ever before. Here's the gist, GPT-40 can understand and respond to text, voice, and even images. Here's what you can expect. Smarter responses, get insights from both the AI model and the real web. Data whiz, analyze data and create charts to understand complex information. Picture perfect, chat about photos you take or upload files for summaries, writing assistance, and analysis. Unlock the power of GPTs, explore a vast collection of specialized AI tools designed for various tasks. Memory lane, build a more personal experience with chat GPT by remembering past conversations. There will be limitations on how much you can use GPT-40 for free, but don't worry, you'll still be able to experience its power. If you reach your limit, chat GPT will seamlessly switch back to GPT-3.5, so your conversations won't be interrupted. Introducing the new desktop app. This handy tool integrates seamlessly with your workflow, allowing you to ask chat GPT questions with a simple keyboard shortcut. Plus, you can take screenshots directly within the app and discuss them with chat GPT. Speaking your mind, literally get ready to chat with chat GPT using your voice. With GPT-40's new audio capabilities, you can have natural conversations directly through the desktop app. Brainstorm ideas, prepare for an interview, or simply discuss a topic that piques your interest, all hands-free. Under the hood, unveiling GPT-40's magic. Before GPT-40, interacting with chat GPT involves several steps. Your voice was converted to text, then GPT processed the text and responded with more text, which was finally turned back into audio. This process meant losing valuable information like tone and background noise. With GPT-40, things are different. It's a single, powerful model that can handle text, voice, and images all at once. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities, and we're just starting to explore what GPT-40 can truly do. A glimpse into the future. Imagine a robot writing in a journal, amazed by the beauty of a sunrise and pondering the nature of reality. Then, it receives an update that allows it to experience sound in a whole new way further expanding its understanding of the world. This fictional scenario highlights the potential of GPT-40 to learn and grow in ways we can't even imagine yet. Pushing the boundaries. Benchmark tests show that GPT-40 performs as well as GPT-4 Turbo on tasks like understanding text, code, and reasoning. You'll be able to use voice commands on your phone and chat with chat GPT about images on all platforms. The ability to generate realistic voices from short samples of real speech opens doors for creative and accessible applications. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered! However, it also raises concerns about misuse, such as impersonating public figures or committing fraud. To address this, we're initially using this technology for voice chat with pre-recorded voices from actors we've collaborated with. The model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles. I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours. Similar partnerships are underway, like Spotify using this tech for their voice translation pilot, allowing podcasters to reach wider audiences. Seeing the world through images. Vision-based models come with their own challenges. For instance, models might generate hallucinations or misinterpret images in sensitive areas. Before releasing GPT-40, OpenAI conducted thorough testing with experts and a diverse group of testers to identify potential risks. Focus on daily tasks. Vision is meant to assist you with everyday activities, like understanding images related to your current conversation. ChatGPT. What equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work... So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. Here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> hmm. It seems like I'm looking at a picture of a wooden surface. Oh, you know what? Um, that what? was the thing I sent you before. Don't worry. I'm not actually a table. Um, okay, so, so take, take another look. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first 
identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. You could tell us the names of these objects in Spanish. Hola. Por supuesto. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un plátano in Spanish. Nice fruit choice. I am excited to see how you'll use GPT-40 to unlock its potential and explore the endless possibilities it offers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech news updates. See you in the next video.